Welcome back to another Dr. Damon Designs video where hopefully I can teach you a thing or two about video editing and graphic design, and if not, help you find that one little feature that you've been looking for. Don't forget if you enjoy my videos to hit that subscriber button, and if you enjoy this video, hit the like button. Also, if you want to know when my new videos go live, hit the bell icon. In today's video, we're doing an updated version of how to edit your Twitch clips in this sweet looking TikToks using DaVinci Resolve 17 since it did get a recent update and stuff does kind of look a little bit different. So I'm going to do that for you guys today. Once DaVinci Resolve launches, you can hit new project and name it whatever you want. For the purpose of this YouTube video, I'm going to do YouTube example. Once DaVinci Resolve launches, you are ready to import your media files. Once DaVinci Resolve opens, you have two methods to import your Twitch clip. You can either drag and drop the media clip from your folder to DaVinci Resolve, or you can go file to import within DaVinci Resolve. Let me show you. So here's where all of my Twitch clips live. I'm gonna show you how I drag and drop it into DaVinci Resolve. This is the first method, and when it says change project frame rate, click change, because this will automatically set it to 60 or whatever the clip is that you're using. Now, if the drag and drop method doesn't work, you can always go to file, import, and import media and go to the folder location wherever your Twitch clips are located and import it through there. Once you've imported your clips, go to the edit tab down below. Once you're in the edit tab, you're gonna wanna go to file and project settings. This is where you change the resolution to 1080 by 1920 so it'll fit TikTok. So now what you're gonna wanna do is drag your clip onto your timeline. Now, if you wanna zoom out to see your full clip, you can use the zoom out and zoom in buttons so you can see the length of the clip. And it'll look like this. If you wanna see what your audio track looks like, go down your audio track, go down to the bottom and expand it a little bit so you can see where all the audio is. The next step is to duplicate this clip on top of each other three different times. Now you can do that by selecting your clip and holding the Alt key and dragging up. This will duplicate the clip exactly. And if you don't wanna duplicate the audio, make sure this link button is deselected. Otherwise you're gonna have to remove the audio two track because you don't want two audio tracks in this TikTok because it could sound a little weird. And you wanna do it again. So you have three different layers on top of each other. Once you have all three layers, hit the disable video track on layer three and two. So you can only see layer one. This will be our base layer, our blurred layer of the TikTok. Now all you have to do is select your video one layer. And if your inspector tab doesn't automatically show up, it's right here in the right hand corner. For this layer, we're gonna change the zoom to 3.1 five because that just fills the whole screen it should look something like this now the last step for this layer is the gaussian blur now if you don't see the effects library down here you can click it up here and it'll show up go under open fx and it'll be right here gaussian blur drag and drop onto your video layer and all you got to do is adjust the blur to wherever you want it to be i use 0.75 just because that's the way i like it now let's move on to layer two i'm going to hide layer one and make layer two visible. Layer two is relatively simple. This is the middle layer showing just your gameplay. The way I set it up is I zoom in at about 1.7, just so it gets rid of my face cam on the left-hand side, and I move it down minus 60. The reason why I set it up this way is because I don't want my username or my description blocking any of my gameplay. I would like to keep that in the blurred section. Now, if you wanna make sure this is working properly, make your video one layer visible. If it doesn't actually show up, you may have to move your video layer two around a little bit just so the background clip shows up. Next step is the layer three, which is going to be your webcam. So hide layer one and layer two and make layer three visible. The basic idea for layer three is to center your webcam at the top of your clip. And here's how I set it up. I zoom in about three. And now that you can see it's centered, I move it over about 1200 and you can now see my webcam. And then I move it up about 640. This is basically what, where you want your webcam. Now you will have to do some small adjustments after you cut out your actual webcam frame so that it all comes together. To cut out the webcam frame, you're going to want to go down to the fusion tab down at the bottom. Once you're in the fusion layer, make sure you have your media in one selected because if you don't, sometimes the shape layer will go onto the layer below it. Now you can either use the square, which I like to use, or you can use the circle, which Crusaders likes to use. But for today, I'm just going to use the square. Now, once you have your shape, you are going to want to center it onto your webcam. This may take some time to adjust because you just want to cut out your webcam perfectly. Once you're done adjusting your shape, it should look something like this, either a square or a circle. And if you want to see my settings, they are right over here. Once you're done cutting out your webcam, go back to your edit tab. Feel free to adjust your webcam. If it's not centered the way you want to, you can just change the position a little bit if you want to. Now we're going to check, make sure this is coming together just the way we want it. Make sure everything is coming together. Reveal all of your layers. So enable video track two and enable video track one. And it should look something like this. You have your webcam on top. You have your gameplay on the second layer. And behind it, you have the nice blurred layer. Now, if you don't have a webcam, then that is okay. You don't have to have the three layers. You can just use layer one and layer two. But if 
you want to add a third layer, you can add either your health bar or whatever section of the game that you want to. And now that you're satisfied with your work, what's left is to export. All you got to do is go to the deliver tab. Once you're in the deliver tab, roll down a little bit to your resolution and make sure it's custom. Sometimes it'll export at 1920 by 1080. You'll still want to change it to 1080 by 1920 so that it fits TikTok. And the best format to export is MP4. That is what TikTok like and that is how I export it to my phone. And last but not least, all you got to do is choose a folder to export to and you're ready to export. Once the location and file name are ready to go, you can add it to your render queue and you can click render all and it should render this perfectly. If not, you can make any adjustments you need to or ask me any questions. That is all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions at all, I do stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday at about 8 p.m. Eastern time and Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And if you can't make it to the streams, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to respond to it. Thank you.